So I've been looking for a tool to monitor my websites for past couple of days and I think I found a perfect solution. It's called Uptime Kuma. It's totally free and open source. I just deployed it on my VPS and this is how my dashboard looks. I just added three of my projects and here you can see how many of them are up and how many down maintenance and pause and stuff and looks like all of them are all right. So let's click on this. So you can see these green dots. What this mean is in every minute uptime sends a request to your website. If the request is 200 as uh, success, then you get a like a green dot. If it failed, then you would have get a red dot. And there are some other important data as well, like last response time, average response time, uptime in past 24 hours, like days and expiry date and stuff. And also some cool graph here of the average response times. So it's pretty nice. And another great thing is you can set up notifications. So I hooked it up with my Telegram bot. So every time it goes down, you can see it sends me a notification and time to time it sends me a 200 uh, status OK notification. So let's say this one went down. Let's edit this. For example, let's give a false domain. Uh, this one, save. You can see I got an error. And here I got a red dot. And also it sent me a notification on Telegram, like this website is down. Because obviously like the domain is false, right? So let's fix this. So the E, save. And it's back online. It's got a notification, things are cool now. So yeah, pretty great tool. And also this dashboard is authenticated. So if you just open this on a incognito mode, yeah, no one will be able to access it. You have to give your username and password to authenticate. So that's pretty cool. But sometimes you might need to create a page for the public, right? To showcase if your website is up or not. So that's why you can create status pages. So you go on there. I already created one. And this is a public view page, so you can show it with your clients, users, or whoever. So see on incognito, you can see it's visible. To get started, uh, you can just Google Uptime Kuma. On the website, you can see the docs. And let's go to how to install. So the easiest way to get started is just using Docker. You can just literally copy this command, paste. Uh, it will run on port 3001. And we are setting the name to Optim Kuma. Everything else looks fine. We'll just remove the version, the latest one. Docker PS. All right, so looks like it's running. So let's visit localhost 3001. Nice. So you can now see the uptime comma is running on your local machine. To add a new project, just click on add new monitor. Here you can fill out this form makers tracker website URL makers tracker.com here you can set intervals so by default it's 60 so it means in every minute it will send a request but you can change it to 120 if you want the request to be made in every two minutes uh but for now 60 is fine everything else is fine here is a cool part you can set up different notifications i use telegram but we have discord Messenger, I believe, and lots of other uh, options. Uh, I'll just select note Telegram. You can set a name and your bot token. To create a Telegram bot, just click on this URL, t.me slash botfather. So this is a bot called Botfather. Uh, it helps you with creating bots and interacting with them. So you can just literally say slash new bot. 
and then it will ask you to set a name for your bot. So I already did that yesterday. I'm not going to do it again. So you can see I just set a new bot called logs uptime bot. And then once you set the name, you get the bot token. So I'll just reuse this. Uh, just copy, paste the bot token. That ID will just auto generate. And everything is fine. Save. So on the, now on the notifications, you can see we have a new bot called MK. I just turned it on so it will send us notifications. Uh, let's save. And now you can see we have a project for Maker's Tracker. Again, to test it, we'll just give a false domain. Save. You can see we got an error and also a notification that our server is done. And yeah, that was it. Super easy, right? Uh, now you can just take this and deploy it wherever you want. For me, I used Caddy, Docker Compose, and DigitalOcean to deploy this in a VPS. So let me know if you want to see a video on that. And yeah, that was it, guys. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.